All right, it is time for Korea On Demand with James joining us in the studio. James, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Nice to be back. Yeah, we're, James and I were having a, a, an interesting discussion before uh, the on-air sign popped up and we had to stop talking. Because <laughs> James was asking you know, stuff about my trip to England and stuff like that and some of the amazing food that I had in England. Uh, and we're talking about Australian food, but Australian mm -hmm. food is, is pretty good. You have a lot of good barbecue. And I know uh, mm -hmm. I have an Aussie friend who said, uh, was it shrimp on the barbie? It is, yeah. It's like summer in Australia that's kind of like you invite your friends over and have a barbecue and it's kind of just the culture where it's like everyone enjoy being outside in a barbecue. It's so nice. And and I have to say, maybe my diplomacy with New Zealand is going to be tainted with this, <laughs> but I went to New Zealand and I had some of the worst foods in New Zealand too. Uh, it's There's rivalry between the two. Normally, <laughs> <laughs> normally the rivalry is actually between the desserts and actually who came up with certain like... I think it's lamingtons and pavlova. They're very traditional, like, sweet dishes. Uh -huh. And everyone fights at who had them first. I think it's actually New Zealand. Oh, <laughs> Australia has their own version of fish and chips. It, I mean, it can't be any different from the English fish and chips, right? I would say it wouldn't be as heavy as, like, I imagine that, like... English fish and chips is a really heavy batter and a bit not so delicious compared to like Australian. I imagine Australian is better. I personally think maybe Australian <laughs> is better, but I might be biased. There you have it. Well, we're not, <laughs> we're not going to be talking about food. We're going to talk fashion. And as our all of our viewers and listeners on live on live YouTube, you will see a confused face that I make every single time that we have this segment here. And so today is going to be another one of those. James what are the trends that we need to know now that it's summer and it's really hot? Of course, of course, it is actually really hot today. Um, the main ones I wanted to discuss today was a trend that is kind of across social media, which is called the old money look, which I know <laughs> it's going to break it down a little bit, and also European holiday look. It seems like as, ever, as it's getting warmer now, everyone is starting to think about like vacation style and kind of escaping the city basically. okay so yeah. like the european holiday look whatever mm -hmm. like i could kind of imagine how it would be now mm -hmm. i am very curious mm -hmm. as to what old money look is mm -hmm. because yes there's the you know the, the rich mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and then there's the old money rich that's mm -hmm. that's the real rich mm -hmm. so do explain to us <laughs> of course what in the world is old money look yeah so it's something that's completely all over Instagram, all over TikTok. It's like pretty much the main thing of like style reference that everyone's referring to. So the old money look is basically people want to create a style that looks like wealth and class without being really flashy and ostentatious. The th main kind of takeaway is that people are looking for the aesthetic, not the lifestyle. So they just want the aesthetic of that they're like this very affluent kind of aesthetically looking person. So <laughs> basically, simply put, you mm. want to look as rich as possible. Basically, you kind of, this is a perfect example from Irene. It's kind of, you normally when you think about her, it's more like glitz and glamour and logos and her own brand, whereas right. this is really pared down and very simplified. So yeah. it's kind of like, we went through this massive kind of logo mania phase in fashion, and now it's kind of, we're kind of losing that a little bit. We're yeah, bit and... And I could do a, a perfectly good explanation on how mm -hmm. the, the dress looks like here for all of our radio listeners out there. By the way, by Irene, I think it's Irene from Red Velvet, I think. Where was it? Red, uh, no, Irene. No? I think she's just infl an influencer. Oh, you know, is she? I think she's, Not Irene from Red Velvet. Oh, okay. No, I think she's just straight up. I know that she has her own brand, but I'm pretty 100% sure she's just straight up influencer. Okay, but mm -mm. nevertheless, it's yeah. very, very simple. Yeah. Uh, it's a white dress that goes down all the way to her foot, mm -hmm. sleeveless, and mm -hmm. on the sides, what seems like if any of our listeners have used loose leaf paper, it looks like loose leaf paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it. Uh -huh. And this is the rich look because it's mm -hmm. simple. Yeah. But just the way that the dress look, it just looks... I guess simple yet majestic. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know yeah. It's kind of like we're losing that like really OTT aesthetic where you know you'd go around Upper Jong Rodeo and people would be covered in logos and covered in branding, and it's kind of like we're kind of moving away from that aesthetic. It's really popular in Los Angeles at the moment. It's mm -hmm. kind of there's a very famous um, 
model kind of influencer there called Sophia Richie Grange, mm-hmm. and she's Lionel Richie's daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. so she's having a big moment at the moment on TikTok, and she got married. Basically, her publicist is doing a fantastic job of kind of pushing her out, and now everyone is kind of following her look. Um, this is Squid Game actress. Oh, uh, Chong Wei-yun, right? Mm, yeah. So she is the perfect example as well. So she just, it's kind of this aesthetic of just looking a little bit more put together and a little bit more kind of classic. So, yeah, so like the range is so vast because mm, now what I'm looking at mm. is basically her trying to look like my uh, college professor mm-hmm. with really brown pants, which used to be very tacky, right? Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. now it's like the in color now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with like a brownish gray, uh, what is it, uh, sweater yeah, be, with the dress shirt under mm-hmm. it. It's like it's the, the professor look, yeah. basically. And so yeah. I guess, yeah, it does look like old money. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like also the Steve Jobs. <laughs> but it is, uh, Steve Jobs wears one clothes. <laughs> but do you know that he actually wears really, that what he wears is actually really expensive? Is it's, it really? Yeah. I read about it recently. So the jumpers that he wears are all cashmere and the jeans that he gets are all custom made. It's okay. crazy. Okay. Kim I, need to, I need to now go into Kim mm. Na Young, mm. which, who, by the way, yeah. uh, very fashionable. Yeah. I like her but a lot. But I don't understand why this would be old money fashion because she's wearing what seems like a vest and there's like a, a dress shirt under mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. and really baggy uh, blue jeans. Yeah. Like, this is just like hip people clothes, no? Uh, it's kind of the, her, if you think about it, there's no branding. There's mm-hmm. nothing overly kind of intense about it. It's kind of pared down. It's got this loose kind of masculine look. You could see this on the references that I put together as well. You kind of think about Princess Di. She could, you know, it's that kind of aesthetic. So it's, this is kind of where we're heading with it. So if you think about it, this is a reference. And then you see Kim Na Young. You kind of, it makes a little bit more... Mm. Uh, I mean, we Ish. have a picture of Princess Di, <laughs> and she's wearing like a long, uh, you know, what is it? Uh, a, a, like a sports coat. A sports coat mm-hmm. with uh, white. It seems like a one piece, but mm. you know, okay. So now I'm yep. understanding yep. what old money fashion is because mm-hmm. new money fashion, this, right, is mm. all about the, the the trademarks. It's a bit blingy. It's with, a bit, with, yeah. with all the C's and mm-hmm. the G's mm-hmm. and the LV's mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. all the. Spark- sparkly stuff but this is like there's no brand names there's no letters there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing man but it still looks very sophisticated mm-hmm. and it seems very as mm. Nyanti says bougie there's mm-hmm. yeah, a, there's a very good term <laughs> here and this is a really iconic film that is called The Talented Mr. Ripley oh yes um, a really it gets used a lot in fashion references because the fashion is so beautiful they're on holiday it's kind of she's a perfect example you know in the film Gwyneth Paltrow but they look like they're in like the 60s uh, I can't remember, I remember when this is set. I think it's late. I think it's earlier than that. I think it's maybe forties or fifties. Oh, okay, like yeah. even earlier. I mean, mm-hmm. so this is yeah. how people. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see how people would dress up. Yeah. But here's the thing, James, mm-hmm. and this is what also Chris, our, one of our listeners, says as well. Mm. Looks rather stuffy for a summer outlook here. <laughs> This is a little stuffy for out, but it's kind of as we get further on, it's more we'll go into resort. But you can kind of take this if you think about. I put in more conservative references for Korea, but if you see this in West, it's more like Kim Na Young would be maybe wearing that vest with nothing underneath it. I mean, we're it's, all we're also sharing a mm. lot of pictures of people who lost their lives tragically. This. <laughs> She's very iconically um, a style icon, uh, Miss Carolyn Kennedy. Kennedy, yeah, uh, with... she's married to um, John F. Kennedy Jr. Yeah, um, but she is. Um, Another kind of, if you're looking at this old money aesthetic, you definitely start seeing her. She's very put together, very simplified. You never really see her with any branding. And she kind of had this air about her that people aspire to look like. But you know Mm. what it is, though, James, Mm. is that all the people that we've seen Mm. are names like, again, we saw Irene, Mm -mm. Kim Na Young, Mm -mm. we had uh, Chong Wei-yong, we have the Mm. Kennedys, Mm -mm -mm. and Princess Di. Yeah. But it's like, they could wear anything and it will look very luxurious, right? So if I were to dress up mm. like uh, Kennedy there, yeah. they're going to be like, this is just another Ajashi. <laughs> no, no. So I, I, I just feel like it's going to be like, depending on who wears it, Mm-mm. it makes it look like it's old money. Whereas if I were it, it's just old. No, I think it's how you approach it. I definitely think that the th- the key takeaway from it is definitely the tailoring element to it. Okay, okay. You kind of see Kim Na Young. This is kind of a perfect example. So if you were to take this as a summer example, as today or in general, the way to approach the trend is definitely from the tailoring side of it. So Mm -hmm. 
a really great well-cut suit. If it was today, obviously we would take it in a cotton or a linen because it's far too hot to be wearing anything in heavy wool. Right. Um, and we want to look at it in a way that is very much more oversized. So if you're thinking about a jacket in maybe one to two sizes bigger. Yeah, it seems it's like... It kind of has this looseness yeah, yeah, yeah. to it. Like it's, the oversized seems to be like in these days and mm -hmm. it basically looks like... I think it's like velour. I, I don't know what it is. I can't I can't see. But it's like basically she's wearing a tube top with mm -hmm. velour uh, suit kind mm -hmm. of looking thing. But mm -hmm. it's like two sizes uh, too big. Mm -mm. And something you shouldn't wear in the summer. This is, yeah, this is probably more... A little bit more summer specific. It was more for the shape, the other one, for the... But this is a bit more truthful. So if you were approaching it as well, a really well-cut trouser and this kind of pleat front pant is a good place to start as well. You definitely start to see this in Korea at the moment, more so in linen or like lighter summer weight fabrics. Yeah, I mean... Uh, this is definitely more... I Bye. see. I see the trend, though, and you know mm. what? Like, I have no problems for the first time in this segment. <laughs> for the first time ever in this very segment, I have no problem because I can I can see why this would be in it. It's, mm. it's very simple. There's mm. no over like it's not overly designed. Mm -mm. It's just that there's something about it that makes it look like you're very luxury, very rich. Mm -mm. Like James wearing a pearl necklace makes it really rich. Is, <laughs> I that, didn't, is, I didn't that, is that old money? Is that <laughs> yeah. old money fashion? Yes. Pearl necklace? I thought I, I always like to kind of put at least something on that is reference to what we are kind of uh, talking about. So I have yeah. a question because mm -hmm. now, since we're talking about pearl necklaces, mm. and I don't know if you're going to talk about this later on, but... Mm. I noticed because mm. pearl necklaces used to be something that, that my mom used to like, mm -mm. right? It used to be, you know, kind of in like the mid, mid, middle age women mm -mm. used to like it. Mm -mm. And then just like young women used to like it. Mm -hmm. I've noticed more and more yeah. that men are wearing pearl necklaces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely. Why? Um, I'm not saying it's weird. Like, no, I, I, no, no, no. I want to say like, how did that kind of transition come about? Uh, I, it's not something that perhaps I would have worn in Australia. But when I come here, you kind of, you kind of, I feel more approachable in terms oh, of what absolutely. I would wear yeah. and kind of wear and do like wear and embrace trends here. No, but, but even like in the know. United States, like hip hop artists, mm -hmm, you know how mm -hmm. like they used to be like big on wearing those like thick chains, mm -hmm. gold chains and mm -hmm. things like that, or like platinum chains with the blings. But now they're wearing uh, pearl necklaces. And I yeah. just felt like, I was like, wow, like where did that trend come from? Uh, it, it was probably... There was a trend last summer towards this kind of like um, this kind of pearl necklace, but it had like other kind of beads through it. So it was a little, it started there and then guys started approaching it and wearing it. And then you still saw people like Jay Park doing it. Mm -hmm. And then I think there was these big celebrities that kind of started wearing it and it kind of opened the floodgates for everyone else to feel a bit more socially acceptable, I guess. But mm. like it's, it's acceptable, but I think yeah. also... Yeah. To pull off a pearl necklace, I yeah. think it's another thing because <laughs> <laughs> if I were to wear a pearl necklace, <laughs> they're gonna be like, "Where'd you rob? Who'd you rob?" <laughs> but if you wear it, it looks nice. Now I'm gonna be Thank honest you. with you; it really mm. does look nice. And yeah. I, I just, I, I was really curious because I did notice that uh, pearl necklaces have been very in amongst men as well, and mm -hmm. it does have that very old money. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, don't worry; it was purposeful. I did it. I try and wear at least like something that what we're discussing about and kind of makes a little bit more. All right. Yeah. So James, Talk to me. <laughs> task here. And mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of our listeners have been uh, kind of, <laughs> well, disobedient space. Well, says dress SJ. Uh, what is it? Uh, Neon T says, agreed to do dress up SJ Fridays. Look, you're not going to dress <laughs> me up, but, but I will ask you mm. this. So mm. a lot of different kind of things that we've seen here, what items should I buy? What are the, some of the things that with my physique and my, <laughs> I don't, my skin, I don't know what it, whether it be like, what are some of the uh, things that I should be wearing if I want to look like I have old money? I think in menswear, it's definitely, um, you want to start with linen. It's mm -hmm. always the best place to start. There is a jacket, which is um, always a good place to start with. It's unstructured. So if you're looking at linen jackets, you can find them with a soft, it's called a soft shoulder. Mm -hmm. So if you've got kind of a broader shoulder, you can definitely start there. So it doesn't give you any extra weight. So it's not as hot. So definitely a linen jacket, linen shorts, preferably probably in the same color, maybe like a light bone or navy. Oh, so like a yep. sports jacket, long sports jacket, but yep. with shorts. Yeah, definitely. We saw this yeah, yeah. coming through the men's shows in... It's something that I'm going to talk about maybe on another, but it's definitely a trend that is coming through um, a short suit. There's mm -hmm. this 
summer it's a bit more approachable um and definitely a white t-shirt just keeping it really simplified so really nice suit jacket loafer if you can find a nice leather sandal and just a white classic t-shirt is perfect place to start uh white sh- t-shirt is just it just makes me look very very big or that's the problem. if it's you could definitely do a white shirt and potentially something that's not as traditionally like a collared shirt, maybe a rounded. Mm. It's always it takes, if it's a collar, it's always, if it's open like this, it seems a little bit more relaxed, but you can do a little round collar, which is kind of a bit more approachable, not so serious. I get, uh, you know, <laughs> I get nervous every time James comes in and I have to, every Friday is that James comes in, I have to dress a certain way and I you try to, look good, though. I try to, you know, wear my expensive stuff and, <laughs> You know, whatever it may be, my my jeans. Our, our listeners can't see this, but it's a nice, nice. What do you call it? It's called the uh, what is it? The kubu pants. Like, it's a little bit shorter, right? Like oh, yeah, you kind of roll yeah. it up. Roll yeah. up jeans is what mm-hmm. I have on uh, right now. Let's move on from the old money look Mm-mm. to the European summer mm-hmm. and resort dressing because mm-hmm. this stuff I can look good in. Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I look good in Hawaiian shirts. I'll just put it at that. I like Hawaiian But <laughs> explain to us uh, this kind of fashion trend. Yeah. So it's more, I guess, if you across social media at the moment, it feels like everyone's on holiday. Mm-hmm. Everyone is either in Jeju or they're mm-hmm. having a nice time in Italy. And so those kind of trends are filtering through and people are trying to look Italian style or resort style in the city. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely... Um, the main thing is kind of like trends uh, globally are being approached definitely in Korea quickly as well. So mm. it's like this European look is definitely popular in Seoul. You're starting to see it definitely being picked up. So if you were, the image that we have on the screen is a beautiful floral dress. So you can definitely see this worn in Seoul and yeah. it kind of gives this very like Italian resort lifestyle feeling which I, is really yeah. i absolutely do know what you're talking about it, yeah. it does look very italian now mm. for our listeners out there uh who are tuning in on radio it's, it's simply put yeah. i never understood this clothes and how it works because it literally starts uh, the, from the puffy sleeve well not the yeah. puffy well the, the picture before this can we go to the picture before this this one here mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you see there's the shoulders are also bare naked mm-hmm. right and it kind of the, the, the sleeves start from like your triceps. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know how y- y- that doesn't fall. Like, well, how, how does it? How do you keep that up there? So the way that these dresses are structured and made is like it's um, like a ruching with elastin. Mm-hmm. So there's elastic basically along here, and it'll cut all the way. So it's actually stretchy. So it's literally kind of stretching you in like elastic band. But if you put your both hands up, you might want to be cautious of what that exposing you. Yeah, you know, like I feel like it's going to I feel like something is going to happen. Like I, I wonder and also I produce see I, all the guys are very curious with how this dress actually works. <laughs> Can you run with this dress? Mm, it's probably not advisable. They actually some of them <laughs> some of them actually have like I'm not sure if you're aware some dresses that are like this like strapless style they have like a rubber tubing Mm -hmm. on the inside Mm -hmm. and it basically adheres to the skin almost so it kind of keeps you Ah, held in so okay i know what you mean yeah because obviously this guest is probably going to a wedding in italy so she doesn't want to oh don't get me it looks it looks fantastic it looks Mm. beautiful Mm. and i I could really really see an italian feel to this let's uh share this next picture here which Mm. this fashion i've seen so much of Yeah. And uh, can you explain to us what fashion this is? So this is Kylie Jenner. Um, she is wearing a floral dress similar to, it's like off the shoulder, very pretty. The reason why this is a trend at the moment is because obviously the Kardashians, as we know it, are normally very flashy, very showing lots of skin. Very photoshopped. Very yes. photoshopped. There's, you know, a, they have a very particular look, mm-hmm. but this, they're kind of softening their image. And so this trend is definitely kind of, Becoming popular because it's like this soft, pretty girl aesthetic is like what everyone wants to look like. Yeah, I, I've seen yeah. many, many people uh, mm-hmm. wear this. I'm, mm. I want to. I'm curious as to how you're gonna explain this next fashionable picture here of what I thought was a maternal <laughs> maternity uh, dress, but. No. Uh, you have basically what I thought was a necklace. <laughs> no, it's part of the dress. <laughs> but it's... So the Italian holiday look kind of is broken into two kind of groups. So it's that really beautiful floral kind of frou-frou fluffy sleeve. Mm-hmm. And then it's if you're not kind of achieving that kind of look, 
we're kind of pairing it back to very, very simplified colors in like, this one is like a chocolate brown cotton dress and it has like a halter neck style, which is going to keep you on compared to the Oh no, this is definitely going to keep you on. Yeah, it is, it, I, I think it's a lot safer than some of the uh, other ones mm-hmm. out there. I want to I want to talk about this. This is something that I also tried to pull off and I think this is also popular mm-hmm. uh, with women as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, can we fast forward over to a picture with like, uh, I think what a lady is wearing Uh, very loose oh this one there you go this one so this is how i tried to dress Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the other day yeah and it did not look good (laughs) because that's that's what i realized i need to start losing weight again and i like this yeah but is this a european uh like vacation yeah definitely i think that when you're looking at a lot of influences and when it's kind of like your checklist when you're packing for a european holiday Mm -hmm. i think both men's and women's number one would always be a classic oversized shirt it's gonna it has this effortless holiday i'm on holiday you can wear it to the beach you can wear it to a bar afterwards it's like super easy and you automatically have this kind of like relaxed look but you know what else though you know what i like about this fashion is Mm -hmm. not only does this look like a vacation look but Mm -hmm. it also looks like old money look there's a blurring between the two the um I guess the old money, this is more the summer version of the old money Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, this yeah. actually does look summer, <laughs> yeah. unlike the other old money fashion that yeah. I saw. Uh, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. here's the thing, though. Mm. With I could understand the, the European summer vacation look because mm-hmm. it is summer vacation time and mm-hmm. it is summertime. But mm. old money look, though, like mm. why did that all of a sudden become a thing here in Korea, like all, all of a sudden? So the trend is kind of... I, I've been researching and having a look a lot online actually about yeah. it. And the biggest thing is kind of during COVID, we all were in our tracksuit pants. We we're all in loungewear. <laughs> <laughs> we all got very lazy. We all got very comfortable working from home. A lot of, and I think it's after a while, we really, you know, there was all of this kind of athleisure wear that was really popular. Mm-hmm. And I think after a while, everyone was kind of like, you know what? I kind of want to get dressed again (laughs) i personally think and a lot of kind of the main momentum of the trend is that everyone wants to dress up and kind of enjoy that kind of you are to dinner and you want to have a you know you want to get out of your sweatpants (laughs) and your crocs and enjoy that kind of there's the nicety of getting dressed up i I think think. that's a very good point because Mm -hmm. um something that my wife had told me Mm -hmm. uh, a couple weeks ago like we went out for lunch and you know rarely these days you know we got a kid and stuff Mm -hmm, like that mm -hmm. so we rarely go out for lunch i've been busy as well but we Mm -hmm. went out for lunch Mm -hmm. and it was like really close to the house like like a neighborhood restaurant it was nothing fancy or anything like for peace sake we're gonna eat the hejangkuk you know the ajashi you know stuff Mm -hmm. but she was like dressing up nicely and Mm -hmm. stuff like that you know putting on makeup i was like well you're putting on makeup and wearing a nice little you know outfit we're going out to eat hejangkuk and she's like well because i'm always stuck in the home taking care of the kid and Mm -hmm. stuff like that i want to finally go out feel like i'm going out Mm -hmm, was what it was mm -hmm. and i think that's a very good point the Mm -hmm. past three years or so because of the pandemic People want to feel like they're going out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so I think for the first time ever, <laughs> first time ever this segment, the fashion makes sense. There we go. James, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm starting to finally get into the groove here. Understand fashion nowadays. Mm-hmm. Have a safe weekend. Thank Looking you. forward to seeing you again next thank time. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. You can listen to Korea Now with me, SJ Lee, by downloading the Arirang Radio application or tune in online by visiting www.arirangradio.com. So make sure you tune in Mondays through Fridays, 6pm to 8pm, Korea time.